want you out of the margins though. Damn it. Whatever, small numbers. Damn it. What's up, baby? I'm practicing a trick that doesn't even need to be practiced. But I'd like to hit it at least once in my life. I'm just really bad. Yeah, I'm just... I'm really bad at switching directions when I do these LZSs. I need to, like... I need to practice that, I think, is what I need to practice. Uh, this is how you're supposed to do actual normal log skip in vanilla. Well, it's one of two ways you can do vanilla log skip. Because, you know, when the logs are usually right here. Uh, if you LZS from this loading zone to about here, uh, it'll skip it. And then the other way you can skip it is in prologue, there's a way to get out of bounds right here. But I can just get out of bounds however I want. Um, and then you stand, like, right here-ish, and you do a very, very difficult series of out-of-bounds falls. I didn't get the loading zone there. That's the loading zone. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to do this well, because I don't have... Yeah, I didn't get it. I don't have the uh, the notches on my controller like I would if I was playing on an N64. I had a weird audio glitch there. It was keeping the Ralph music. Yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. Honestly, what's funny is I was talking to someone about this, like, this LZS can actually kind of be skipped. Like, doing this trick, do, like, it loses time getting it first try over getting first try LZS, but it doesn't lose that much time. It loses, like, 15 seconds, which in the grand scheme of a long run isn't a huge amount of time. The LZS that you can't really skip is the Lackey LZS, which I'm not going in there, so I don't want to start that chapter. Um, the Lackey LZS is so much faster than every other method of early Lackey. Um, like, the Bomb Push method takes like a full minute, whereas the LZS takes like 15 seconds. Actually, the bomb push method probably takes about a minute and a half. Anyway. There's also the... The... Um... The Junior Troopa skip LZS, that one can't really be skipped either. 
the junior trooper fight takes a pretty long time compared to skipping it. And then you do so the thing is though if you don't do the junior if you don't do the junior trooper fight you have to make up with it make up for it with experience later because you don't get some amount of experience obviously if you don't do that fight I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick um, but like the fight you take later is so much faster than doing the junior trooper fight anyway. Filled my water bottle, I have an actual drink with me now. Alright. Let's start this bullshit and probably get soft locked again, and if not, I'm gonna get trapped in chapter two anyway, because I can't do the card skip. But whatever. Oh, it'll almost, it'll almost certainly happen. It's so ridiculously easy to get soft locked in this. Oh. I tried to hammer to stop myself there, but I forgot I didn't actually have the hammer yet. Ah, uh, I didn't get it. I had the right angle, but the cutscene trigger just hit me. It feels like the cutscene trigger there is a bit random. I don't know. Tass would be kind of... I don't know. I don't know what time... Like, obviously Tass would be a lot faster, but I don't know what, like, kind of interesting tricks you could really add. Like, the main thing that a Tass would be able to do is to... When they clip out of bounds... So, like, when I clip in a corner, I just spin into it and then wait for Mario to respawn in the corner, right? Because that's kind of all I can do. But a Tass would actually be able to hammer on the frame they hit the, uh... They hit the out-of-bounds seam and not fall out-of-bounds. I'm gonna move my mic a little closer. I don't want to have to yell all the time. Just gonna avoid the uh, the Goomba King there.
Pshaw, King Bowser. I feel like this is the first time I ever someone used the word Pasha like that. It was the red ninja Koopa telling Bowser that he doesn't need to be worried. Also, shoutouts to Bowser who has actual literal invincibility and like omnipotence right now. Seeing the seeing the Ninja Koopas use a spin attack and being like, yo, this is so cool. Oh, come on, Mario. Don't make me do the lame way. Okay, I'm doing the lame way. Okay. I guess we're going around the end. No, no, no. There is a back seam I can stand on here. It's just... doing there for a second. You'd be surprised. A lot of... There's, like, a lot of knowledge about this game. Oh, shit. Like, a lot of knowledge for this game for things that aren't even, like, legitimately possible. Like, theoretically possible stuff. No, why are you... Why did you go through the block? That's not possible, you cheater. Only I can do that. This man really just spun through a block like that's a thing he can do. No, it's a thing I can do and only me. Mario, please. You know what Tass would help me do, though? It would help me find the exact angles I need to be holding to get through these. Aw, oh, come on, you can... Aw, oh, damn it. I was say, you can skip Winding Path if you get really lucky, too. Like that, but, like, faster. Okay. Should have taken the upper, upper route, whatever. Blooper! Oh, what the hell? Just me not hitting the button like I was supposed to? Alright, that one's fine, though. See, this is why I need two extra attack. If I had two extra attack, that wouldn't have happened. Damn it. I got stuck on the... I got stuck on the invisible wall there. No, I did it again. That's Mario conserving his speed. He has so much speed that, like, I, I tapped back to try and not get into a fight while I was still in the water. And, like, he just teleported into the loading zone. What's up, Jirachi? <sighs> Where'd 
we're getting soft locked again. That's the plan. And then I'm gonna switch over to randomize here. <laughs> Too fast to Mario. Alright, let's not forget to use the action command here, shall we? I actually kind of wish the New Game Plus, like kept your actual level, because I'd be getting so much less experience from fighting things. And I wouldn't level up as much. Because leveling up does waste time. Although bosses... I don't do that many non-boss fights, and bosses give set EXP, so... I guess maybe it doesn't actually matter. Damn it. Alright, let's go for the... Uh, that should be on the... Yeah. At least there's no jump cap when you do those runs. Correct. I mean, technically I can get capped on Final Bowser because I need four... Four power jumps on turn one in order to set him to zero HP. But that doesn't actually matter because, like, I can also just attack him on turn two. And then he'll still be... Because, like, turn two happens no matter what. Did I hear about the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door reorder issues with Amazon? I did not. What happened? I don't pre-order games, so it doesn't matter to me, but... Some people's orders are being canceled due to stock issue. How do you have a stock issue? Is there another cartridge shortage like there was a few years ago? Like... I bet it's only Amazon that's doing that too, right? Like... It's affecting the digital version too- Okay. Okay. That makes perfect sense. I don't know how I dodged that before. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 2 is a 3DS game. How is it having problems? I know. I know they do, they're doing the remake. I'm not sure how I feel about handheld remakes on the Switch like that. That, like, offer no real new content or, like, even an up, like, even updated graphics. Like, 
That feels like such an unnecessary cash grab. I'm about to save a bunch of time on this split, and I don't know why. My guy, it's not Nintendo. It's it's everyone. There's a reason 90% of the PlayStation 5 games that exist are just ports of PlayStation 4 games. Or PlayStation 3 games, in the case of Last of Us. Like, that's the industry right now. Yeah, that is true, I guess. But, like, it's so weird when you see, like... Metroid Prime Remaster, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, like, actual HD remaster, and then also, like, these shitty, like, just cash grab versions. I felt the same way about Kirby's, uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, but also I didn't buy that game, so I don't actually care. But at least that game had, like, an entire, like, extra campaign on it, even if it wasn't, like, super long. Um... But, still, like, they didn't really do much with that. They, uh, they, like, they barely upscaled the graphics and just re-released it. Like, and that wasn't even a game I felt like needed a re-release. It's not like it was a particularly poorly received game or something like that. It sold a ton of copies. GameCube games make sense. That console's 20 plus years old. And it didn't sell super well, so, like, a lot of those games have not been played by people. FF7 Remake is not an upscale. FF7 Remake is a completely different game. And I don't even mean that in the sense that, like... You know, they changed how the com like, combat works and, like, how much different it looks. I mean, they literally changed, like, a bunch of things in the game. Like, it's a completely different story. I'm not even certain it co constitutes a remake. It feels more like you could call it a spin-off at this point. Yeah, I did get bridge skipped quickly, you're right. I also had some good movement in the prologue. Nope, we're not fighting you. Also, it was funny that you specifically said Final Fantasy XII Remake, because that is a remake that Square Enix released that was just, like, exactly the same with slightly upscaled graphics and nothing else. Still, I kind of want to buy the XII Remake. I own Final Fantasy XII on PS2, I just never completed it. And I don't want to have to hook up my PS2 ever again, so... Bro, 12 is so much better than the other Final Fantasies they were making back- Oh, god damn it. Back then. Alright, I will take a safety save. I might reset if I softlock early in this- Where am I? Okay. I was like, oh shit, I already softlocked. 
FF7. Wow, that's a terrible take, honestly. Wow, I already soft locked. That was so fast. Whatever. Because I took the safety save, that's not going to lose a ton of time. You know what, let's do the bottom seam. Okay. Never mind. That's not gonna work. Mario. Mario. I remember playing Final Fantasy VII. It was a while after, like... It was after the PS2 had already come out. Because um, I hadn't owned a PS1. Um, and I was, like, excited to try this game that everyone was like, this is the greatest RPG that's ever been made. And I was like, bro, this isn't even better than, like, most of the Super Nintendo R RPGs. What are you talking about? I don't even just mean the Super Nintendo RP like Final Fantasies either. Like Chrono Trigger, Super Mario RPG, I think both of those are better than than seven. They're just more fun to play. Also, no one will ever convince me that they actually cried when Eris died. Unless you had like too much time spent spent grinding her. Oops, that is too far of a jump. Bro, I didn't play it wrong. Like, I'd already I'd already known a ton about that game. Because I'd heard so many people talk about it. And it was still just not good. And the thing is, part of the reason it's not good is, like, it was a victim of its time. Like, Square was trying so hard to make the game, like... I cry every time one like equals one less Sephiroth stab. Whoa. Um. Like, Square was trying to make the game so much prettier than it really needed to be. Uh, moon. Diamond. Pyramid. Um. Like the 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 full render the full rendered backgrounds just did not work well for the game. I'm still having issues with it even now in like Final Fantasy IX. Uh, like telling what is something you can interact with versus what is something you can't interact with. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. I am so far ahead at this point. I may just take the peach cutscene. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll give it a couple attempts. I'll give it a couple attempts of, uh... Card skip, but... Oh, yeah, no, the belts and zipper thing is wild. But, yeah, no, I mean... Yeah, but I'm saying, like... Final Fantasy VII, in particular, suffered from that. It also suffered from Square's weird obsession with putting really shitty minigames in their... In their PS... Their, like, their PlayStation... Final Fantasies. I can't believe Square Enix actually released the fucking snowboarding minigame from Final Fantasy VII as its own standalone game that you could pay money for as if that's a thing people want. All right, I'll give it like a couple tries. And then if I don't get it, I'm just... I'm gonna grab the card. I'm not that worried about it at this point. Come on. 
Stupid wall. Alright, I'll give it like two or three more tries. Yes, we got it, baby! Oh, I need to actually split. Alright, we're saving too. Okay, we're going slow to get out of here though, because I don't wanna I don't wanna clip out of bounds accidentally and soft lock. Even if I did take that safety save. Alright, and then we're going to remember to get the seed as well. Alright, we've got an actual run going. Let's go. I even saved time on that split. Uh, save here as well, because I have soft locked doing this other one. Sorry, you're not going to see any- oh shit, I'm not holding far enough, I'm not going to- Oh, I made it anyway, nice! You're not going to see any coconuts, unfortunately, we're not stopping to hit any trees. For the record, I had to use Bombette there, because if I didn't, I'd have to wait for her to walk all the way to the train, and there's a chance she doesn't she gets caught on collision and it doesn't happen. It's technically faster to swap partners, I just don't have a partner to swap to. Uh no cool randomizer thing where the the rock explodes. Grab this seed. And then we head over here. Ah oh, shit, where am I? There's the toy train. Uh-oh. Where am I? Oh, in the box, unfortunately. Okay, I think that should have put me through the wall at least. So I sh Yeah, it did. No. Wait. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't know where I was. Cool. This is another split I can actually save a bunch of time on. Uh, but... Oh shit. I can also lose a lot of time on it, is the problem. Today and things, I still don't understand why it works. That. Looks cool though, right? <laughs> Yo, why is my stream like a full minute behind? That's wild. Maybe it's just me, actually. Maybe my internet's being fucky right now. I hope that's not actually affecting the stream. I'm gonna take this the slow way. The 
Did stream just die? Okay. Okay. So I fucked up that fight in the in the splits, so that saves a bunch of time. Say coconut when I read this. Uh no. You can't make me. Okay, well now I have to go for it. Yep, and I got it. Let's go. I missed my platform, so I had to go for the clip. Uh, take a safety save. Oh no, I saw the message before that. I just didn't... I didn't... I didn't, like... <laughs> I didn't fully parse what it said right away. Where am I? My, okay, so I had a weird, like, lag on my, my browser, and it put my stream back, like, a full two minutes. Uh, but it was just, like, showing my stream is not live, essentially. Like, I could, I could hit the button that says live, and it would, it put it back where it actually was supposed to be, so... Okay, there's a lot of time to save on the split because of how bad I did at getting the, uh, the card skip. I'm really lucky I got that card skip on Chapter 2 when I got it as well. Because, like... I was literally, like, it was my last attempt. I had decided, like, if there was a minute between, like, but if it was a minute till my next, my, my split, I was just gonna take the card and go, right? To lose as little time as possible. And I was right at that. Yeah, yeah. This is the, this is, of the three card skips, this is the most important one. Because, like, one, I don't even, like, I'm not even going to be able to do the baking a cake bullshit. Like, I just, I don't even remember how to bake the cake. I don't want to have to stop to read the text to do it. But two, it's also the longest peach scene that you can skip. So. If I accidentally touch this card and start the peach scene, I will reset and redo this boss fight. I don't care. I will lose all the time I've saved already. Damn it. Damn it. What am I What am I doing? Mario. This one always puts me in, like, nerves. Oh, yeah, I have to reset. Fuck! I have to refight the boss. I 
I was just too far away when I landed, and it just caused Mario to walk into the card. Yeah, so I'm going to lose time, a lot of time on this split now. Realistically, that's probably the end of the run. Like, the amount of time I'm about to lose now means that, like, I, I don't really have any time to save in this run. Yeah, it runs dead. But since I at least made it past two, I'll, I'll finish it out. So what happens when you're bad? I was watching Jacob do a run of this for what is it, Frost Fatales? And she got to, she was doing not this specifically, she was just doing regular all cards, right? And she got to this boss and she mentioned she didn't take a safety save for this boss when she and like realistically for a, for a marathon setting you should <laughs> but she hit the card skip so it doesn't matter look at that i've already lost two minutes on this split holy shit Although it is worth noting the splits kind of messed up because uh, in the, the splits I have saved, I got the chapter two card skip and then didn't actually split for like another like 30, 40 seconds after that because I just forgot to do it. Uh, and it made this split a lot like more narrow, essentially. Like, all right, let's go for it again. Mario. I got it again? Okay, run is actually over. Alright. Run's over. We're doing rando. Like there's no there's no point in continuing that the that, that that run, it's literally, like, I'm five fucking minutes behind now, so. It's actually gonna be more than that. I still have to actually hit that, like, I have to hit the trick first try in order to be five minutes behind. Otherwise, I'm gonna be, like, 20 minutes behind, so fuck it. That run's over. I don't, I don't really care about the auto split that much. I have seen the, o the OOT speed run in the Brawl demo. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but, like, I mean, at this point, isn't the actual OOT speedrun faster than it anyway, so who cares? I know it's not. The OOT speedrun actually has to watch certain cutscenes, but... Man, I'm so upset. Like, I'm actually just angry that that just happened. Like, that really just fucked up my whole day. I'm legitimately just going to be in a bad mood for the rest of the day now. Let's make this a little bigger. Ah. 
Yeah, I failed it again, and failing it twice means I lose, like, five-plus minutes, so there's just no point in, g in going. And I don't want to spend another 35 minutes just to fail again at, like, fucking Chapter 2, so... Show me some good stuff. Uh, power bounce at six, and that's literally it for that. Power bounce at six. Okay. I'll probably come back for that early then. Ah, oh, I just need to calm down. I'm like actually very angry now, so. Uh, grab a fire flower, because it is a AoE, I guess. That plus Cooper Shell can probably kill something. What do we got? I've got uh, one, two, five, three. One, two, three, five. Uh, Cooper means... Uh, by that, and by that. Uh, Cooper means I can almost full clear prologue, so I think I just go to... Nope. Oh, I go to prologue now. For jump charge. Well, I got jump charge and power bounce, so, you know. Frozen fries. Nope. One of the other things that really helped me get that sub 2 the other day was I got really good at avoiding items I didn't need. I have a bad habit ha bad habit of picking up items I don't need. Hey now, there's some okay f like frozen fries. I don't want the stone cap. I don't need that. I don't have that chapter. Coin, coin. Take that. FP plus. Could be useful. Depends on what it's at. BP cost is. I'm saying there are some okay frozen fries. That's what I'm saying. I have chapter three, so that's important. Wait, I have one, two, three, five, I just realized. Just a super shroom, but that just means I don't have to come back. Grab the coin. Yeah, I, I mean heat them up, not eating them frozen. No one likes eating frozen fries. I have literally every shop, basically, in Logic, so I need to grab coins. Okay, so this was worth coming to. Wait, 
That said, all my badges were equipable. That means FP plus is cheap. Ooh, or uh, flower saver, I mean. Let's go. Love to see that. I mean, I want all this. I'm going to leave the life shroom for now just because it costs a lot. And I, I'm about to spend 50 coins. I don't need... Oh, no, I do need the letter. Hold on. Give me that. How block. PFD down might be useful. I don't need anything else. Well, I I might need the uh, snowman dolls later, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. The leaf, don't need it. Gonna grab the coins because I have to go pay Kent C right now. Boo's portrait is interesting because it gives me a lot of access to chapter three. But without, like, a boot upgrade, at least. I don't really want to go in there, because I'm not... There's going to be a lot of stuff I'm not going to be able to get. Pebble. Mush. Blueberry. I'm, I'm going to have to pick that up. It landed in the Switch. There's the third letter already. Uh, Volcano Vase is possibly in logic. Grab a few more coins. Uh, Voltrum. I don't need that. I'm always trying for sub two. Man, what's with all the mushrooms? Uh, okay. Need the key. Let's grab another star piece. Jump charge. We'll take it. Let's go check this item. That's a star piece. I don't really care about that. Honey syrup, also not useful. I really need this to not be seven scaled. If this is seven scaled, I'm probably going to die and just have to start a new seed. <laughs> No, I guess I have a stopwatch. You managed to show up just in time in that I'm doing this and not raging at my inability to do uh, TTYD's all stars or all cards. Had a run going, immediately fucked it up in the next chapter. Let's fucking go. Love it. I'm so bad at that game. Alright, show me 5 HP. 5 HP exactly? Oh, he loved to see it. I forgot this was the first item I got. Oh my god, 5 FP. Okay, Cooper, you're going right in the trash as soon as I can replace you.
I guess it was worth coming in here for that honey syrup. Alright, show me something good up here. It's... I mean, I can use it. Chuck Quizmo, you don't normally spawn here, do you? Oh, wait, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Okay, there's a couple more checks I can do just because I have Cooper as my starting partner and I may as well do them while I'm here because I'd hate to find out it's like the fucking boots or something. Or that, you know, I'd hate to not get that. Odd key, all right. If I find Bombette, that's chapter five access. Coconut, you know what? Just cause. I know someone's gonna be excited about that, so let's do it. And then we may as well check this one check because it doesn't really waste any time. Okay, I don't like this. This is gonna suck. Okay, do I have any good attack items left? Okay. Okay, four turns should be enough. We're just going to go ahead and kill one of you. Kill the other one. Kill this one. Okay, there we go. It's another coconut! We're leaving. Power Rush, okay. Power Rush not usable, Defend Plus actually kind of is. Defend Plus at 4 is actually very usable, so... Alright, so there's nothing left in one. Another star piece. I don't have enough money for... I need more money. I need more money in order to buy stuff at Rip Cheeto. No way, that's the first fortress key. Okay, that's fucked. Okay, but that doesn't really do anything for me, though. Without Bombette, there's only two items I can even get. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Okay. Well, one of those things was useful, so it's fine. That's shitty logic, though. Having to enter Koopa Bros. Fortress or uh, Koopa Village to then leave and come here, to then be able to enter the first room of fort, like the past the first room of fortress. That's it's kind of shitty.
Also, I think that was three scaled one. And then this is two scaled three. Wait, this is nothing, right? That's yeah, Oakley. Well, I got a lot of star pieces. If I don't find anything here in... Fortress, or in a uh, Boo Manor, it means I'm... Going back into chapter one. I could also be begin being gated by a shrink stomp check. Oh, there's another fortress key. Okay. Um, the blooper fight, but as I currently only have Cooper, I really don't want to try and do that fight. Like, I legitimately don't even know if I could win. Dude, this piranha plant is doing the utmost. Calm down. All right, I've only got like three or four more checks I can do here right now, so. After this one, I mean. Oh, definitely didn't need to pick that up. That was a waste of a half a second. The thing is, if even if I find bomb at here, I don't know if the correct option is to go to five or if it's to go to fortress. Egg. Boiled egg. Forgot you could actually get that. Lackey? What does Lackey do for me? Nothing? He makes five a little faster? Like, that's not a useful find, if I'm being honest. Does make it possible to beat, uh... Beat the uh, blooper, though, if I need to fight it. I don't need that. I have three already. Having, having Lackey is very nice, though, because it means once I get into Volcano, I can just full clear Volcano. And I can go through Volcano quickly. I will be getting Paracarry at some point or another, because it's not actually possible to finish Chapter 3 without Paracarry. One of the only, like, chapters Paracarry is actually required to have to finish. Finding a hammer upgrade would be nice, too, because it means I can go into two. I can go into desert. Okay, we're just going to go check and see what the uh, Cooper item is up here. It's kind of a risky check, just because it wastes a lot of time, but... Hmm. Dude, just Mario. There it is, hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Okay, it was worth it. And then there's one other item I can check over here. Actually, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, so hammer means I have all of... Oh, man. Do I have anything good for... I don't.
Honestly, jump charge might be the play. I have to do I have to do a blooper fight now. I don't get a choice. There's a possibility I might have to do super. Do I just do this check now and... <gasps> Money, I need that so bad. I think I do. I think what's going to happen is... We do this check because if it's important, I don't want to have to fight Super Blooper. Or I, rather, even if it is important, I'm going to have to skip it. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Alright, I literally have to heal here. Wait, no I don't. This is probably a massive waste of time, is what's unfortunate. Yep, it was a massive waste of time. Okay. So now I have to redo that fight, but uh, on a different part of the map. Okay, at the very least it means I know I don't ever have to fight Super Blooper. Do I have anything else that would be better to use here? Not really. All right, I just need the fight to go exactly the same, and I need to hit every block. Let's go. I didn't hit the block. Let's go. Already fucked up. Oh my god, I missed that block too? Okay. Well. The other fight went perfect and this one went dog shit. <laughs> Probably gonna have to be a bunch of uh, BP level ups too in this this seed. Let's do these checks. Could be useful. Honestly, would have been useful in that particular battle.
Please be. Oh, on two? That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's put that on for now. Okay, I can't actually get this item, but I'm just going to check it. So I know if I need to come back here or not. Oh, fuck. I do need to come back here. Okay. I'm gated from Chapter 5 for a while then. Because I have to find Paracarry. Which, realistically, he's probably going to be somewhere in the desert. That is the wrong pipe. Is the I'm playing blind right now. Try... All right, I'm trying to pull up the uh, the desert map. I don't see anything useful in here. Yep, nothing useful in here. Double dry shroom. Wait, which one am I supposed to buy? I wonder if it actually matters. Okay, it doesn't. Cool. Uh, double dip. Don't care. None of the shops having attack items is kind of worrying, though. Okay, let's pull up the desert map real quick. There's Paracarry. Okay, so that's Sushi as well. There's a second fortress key... Okay, we're upgrading Paracarry. I actually probably won't find Watt then, since I have uh, Sushi in Logic. And I'm definitely going to have Bombette in Logic. So... Is that Quick Change? It is. No, it's Dizzy Attack. Damn it, didn't need to grab that. There is yet another Fortress Key and Super Boots. Let's... Yo, oh my god, everything was here. It actually probably would have been smarter to just come here originally to take the Twister. My routing's not great. Alright, well, I'm one Fortress Key away from finishing one, but I'm also... Like, a bombette away from being able to finish most of the, uh... Ooh, that's a good, that's a good one to find, too. I'm a bombette away from being able to do all of the actual checks, though, so... Uh, let's just do this. Uh... I would grab Fire Shield just in case it becomes necessary for uh, five, but I should be okay. Fuck. Okay, what scale are we? Fuck. That's not good to see. That's, I think, five scale. I missed one. Hello, goodbye. You know... 
I mean, if he had been there for, like, the, the, the fight with the blooper, he could have been useful, I guess. Not really. Com he was already getting out-damaged by, uh... He was already getting out-damaged by L Lackey. Dude, really? Definitely want that. Uh, need that. Double Quake Hammers. Let's go. Okay, so there's still one more thing to check in Desert. But other than that, I'm done. Uh, are either of those Quake Hammers usable? 3-1, one, 1-7. One, uh, I will take 3-1. Okay, I got 100 coins, plus I got a jam and jelly in the inventory, so I should be fine. Just grab a little bit of extra money anyway. And then since I have paracarry, I can also full clear uh, rugged as well, so I may as well do that. Not necessary to come down here, alright. Paracarry also gets me into Blubba, but it's always a feels bad going into Tubba's Castle, like, when you can't just complete Tubba's Castle. Do I look like Mario? Mario wears a red shirt and blue overalls, like. Oh, finally an actual attack item I can use. Let's go. Another castle key, okay. We are almost done with Tubba. I haven't even, like, actually done most of the checks in um, Boo Manor, and yet I'm already almost done with Chapter 3. Because you just need the three keys, Paracarry, and uh, Boots after you've gotten the Boo Portrait. Okay, that's a chill out. Don't care about that. Voltrum, don't care about that. Actually, let's just... Let's just grab this now. Another coconut! Uh, Shrink Stomp. You know what? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna grab that just in case I need to use it for Tubba's heart. I have n I can never figure out which direction I'm supposed to go to avoid this guy. Another attacking item. Let's go. Uh, goodbye, coconut. Sorry. Shooting Star, Life Shroom. Want both of those. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh my god, can you stop? Okay, so I have actual attacking items now, which is very nice. Don't need that. 
Found bean and soil. Wait, what am I doing? Yo, repeatable ultras though? Hold on. I'm almost considering going back to do that again, just to get another ultra and more money. Didn't need that. Cool. Alright, so there was a lot of good stuff here. Uh, we're gonna upgrade Paracarry again. Fuck it. Cool. Shell Shot on 2 is all I wanted to see. It, it's repeat uh, rather than saying repeatable ultra shrooms it's 10 ultra shrooms is what it is because it replaces the vanilla wacka's bump with an item and you can hit wacka 10 times before he leaves I should also now be able to do the uh Dark Koopa fights for the Chapter 3 pipe, so that's nice. Um, with that said, I think the plan kind of is to go to 5. Actually, maybe I will find Watt because of the uh, Yoshi Kids check. I think the plan is to go 5 just because there's so many checks there. Because again, I don't want to go into one having three keys. I want to go into one having four keys. And then this will be a charge turn. will be another charge turn, but I don't have enough FP, so we're gonna eat this. And then he should be dead on this turn. Oh! That is not what I meant to do. God damn it. I always forget it doesn't default you to it doesn't default you to jump. Like constantly I forget that. Uh Just cuz I have him and just because something very important was down here last time otherwise I wouldn't do this. Wait, was that third cut third key? I don't need that. That was third key. Okay, I'm go mode for Tubba's Castle now.
Uh, I think I just go into five to check the shop, and then I go Tubba's Castle immediately. Yeah, that's go mode for Tubba's. Dodge Master and Repeatable to Repel Gels. Let's go. Actually, there are a few other things worth checking while I'm here, just because they're fast. Like that, for instance. That's worth checking. That's a letter. I don't need that anymore. Really care about that. Take another free repel gel, fuck it. Take that. Uh, I got enough shooting stars, I don't need that one. I don't have four, so that doesn't matter. Uh, if I need the money, I'll come back and get that, but for the time being, I think I'm okay. Power Rush? Hell yeah! Alright. Remember, remember the... Uh, Shrink Stomp is 1-1. One, one. I might actually use that. Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to use that. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go grab Power Bouncer right now. Uh, there's no guarantee it's going to be anywhere that fast. Like, I'd already need to be done with a couple chapters in order for this to be that fast, I think. The problem is I still have a lot of big areas that I need to check. Alright, so give me power bounce. You know what? Give me HP plus as well. Uh, buy Super Shroom. Uh, what do we got for what? I've got all the danger badges. HP plus on one, though? HP plus on one is really nice. I can go into final Bowser with a lot of HP and then do that fight much more simply because... I have repeatable repel gel, so I can get, like, low age. I can get into danger and just have him never heal. Oh, I need to... Speaking of healing, I need to heal. Shit. Fuck it. I think we start with the four Koopa fight. To get the level. Oh wait. I have to do this. And then it's do nothing. And then it's this. And then that goes into FP. And then we do Quake Hammer again. This one to Air Raid.
I didn't even check how much FP power bounce he's using. That's because I didn't actually put it on. Good job, me. Power bounce is three, okay. That's still probably fine. I'm gonna take the sushi level here. Because I may need to use her for uh, Lava Piranha. Having boots also opens up a handful of checks in Boo Manor, so I'm going to do those now, I think. No, I'll do them on the way back. I'll do them on the way back. Because beating Tubba is going to put me right next to this area anyway. And there's a soft lock check I can do when I go into the manor, so. Don't want soda. Here it is, the one time you need paracarry. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'll get that later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, definitely needed that. All right. Oh, that is so fucking good. Okay, so now I just need Ultra Hammer and five is done. I'm going to do this kind of a weird way. I don't even have bow, I just realized, so... I actually might need to use Shrink Stomp on Tubba's heart, now that I think about it. Or else I might die. Hammer throw, very useless badge. Bro came at me with the quickness. Malone. Coconut. No, I pressed A. I got in there. I don't care what anyone says. I got that. I have all or nothing. I had to say that out loud because if I forgot, I was going to, like, flick the control stick and not actually get this attack off. Take the heal now. We level up Sushi again. 
So now I have access to Tidal Wave for Lava Piranha if I need it. And then we go back to Paracarry. I will check the item that I need Bombette to get anyway, but... I found the Tubba Key in... Oh, wait. In Chapter 5, right? That was the, uh, the correct sequence of events then. Okay, it's a flower saver, which would be nice to have, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. Actually, it's not even that important. My FP costs aren't super high right now, so... I do wish the, uh, I do wish the power plus wasn't on 8. That'd be real nice. Ugh, 51 minutes... This has been such a long trek just to get my first chapter done. Uh, deep focus badge isn't going to ever be useful. If you're ever using focus in a Paper Mario playthrough, not... Okay, so in a... In a TTYD playthrough, D, like, Super Appeal is one of the best badges there there is, but in, uh, in Paper Mario 64, if you're using Deep Focus, you're doing it wrong. Another egg. Alright, let's change badges now. Um... Uh, Let's go ahead and put on Power Rush on 4. Oof. You know what? I'm just going to put on the HP Plus now. Because I may actually... Like, I don't know that I have enough HP to survive getting attacked by Tubba's Heart. The problem is there's still like five minutes left in this chapter too. This is the longest chapter to complete once you're in go mode. Because you come to the end of the chapter and then you have to go all the way back to the beginning of the chapter and then you have to do a two-phase boss fight. Wait, that was it. Damn it. Oh, well. That was only barely faster than going the right way, too, is what's said. Squeeze does 12. Yeah. So even with shr well, with shrink it would do 9, I think. Ooh, hold on. Maybe that's the play. Let me take that off then. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. Cause shrink is minus three damage, right? Or is it half damage? Wait, shrink stop is half damage now that I think about it. Ah. Did I just fuck up my, I did. Okay, well, we're eating this in Ultra Shroom too.
Ugh. I use shrink so, like, infrequently because the things that are weak to it are so random. I have enough money, though. I didn't really need that Ultra Shroom. There's also not a lot of useful stuff to buy outside of the, um... Outside of the Repel Gels. Alright. Actually, he might not even get a turn to attack, now that I think about it. No, he will. There's no way I get a high enough cap here. Yeah, that was, he gets one dirt turn to attack. Ooh, I made a, I made that a lot harder though. Why did that round down? Oh no, it's because he's. Even though he has vanilla HP, he's not vanilla scaled. He's three scaled. He has one less attack. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have an enemy. Okay, I'm an hour into the seed for my first chapter, but I'm very close to finishing two other chapters. Honestly, I'm not that far on two either. I just need like a key and a treasure. Oh, I don't have power bounce. Oh, we only had 8 HP. Right! 3 scaled. I thought he had 10 HP. I'm dumb. Alright, everything to BP from here, I think. I can take an HP level on Hallway Bowser if I really need to. What's really funny is despite having Chapter 3, it's very possible I never find Bo. Like, it's, it's weird what partners are needed for what chapters. Although it kind of makes sense, right? The partner you find in one chapter is absolutely necessary for the next chapter, right? Like, that's how they gate you into the next chapter, right? So, you need... You need... Bomet for two. You need Bow for... Th or, I mean, you need Paracarry for three. Bow for four. Watt for five. Fun fact, though. You don't actually need sushi at all. There are checks that require her, but there's not an actual, like, in the randomizer at least. There's nothing that requires her to beat the game. Okay, let's do the couple checks I can do in here now. Yeah, because you don't need... you. Well, okay. That's only kind of true, I should say, because... Wow, there's my repeatables. Uh, you do need sushi to, like, technically to enter a uh, volcano. I don't know why I'm grabbing that. Um, but that can be skipped with a trick. Okay. Okay, with Jade Raven, do I just do... Do I just do five now? I want this. Sell this to me. Got anything else? Got any grapes? You have another one? I am stacked on items. Uh... Yeah, I think I just go five. <laughs> Can't 
Can't do Yoshi kids, so they're gonna stay dead. A letter. I will actually take this. I have found double dip and triple dip in there so many times. And I'm if I remember correctly, that's vanilla double dip. Like that's where double dip actually is vanilla. So it's even weirder that I'm always finding it there. <gasps> I don't need you, but I'll take you. I can actually skip getting this power up too, because I can just power up sushi in the volcano. And it's just easier to do that. We're gonna not forget this check. Very glad I didn't forget that check. So I have Pyramid and Moon, I just need Diamond st Stone now. And then I also need the Pulse Stone to actually get into to DDR. It's just a mushroom. I'm just skipping all the Yoshi kids. Actually, I will get this one. This is the one that's the most out of the way to come back for. Even though I'm 90% certain Yoshi kids aren't in logic. This one takes the most time to come back for, and I'm already here, so... Damn it. Oh god, this is high scale too. That's annoying. Oh wait, did I already ultra sushi? I did actually already ultra sushi. Let's go. Tidal wave on 7 is kind of annoying, but it's fine. I have an FP plus badge I can put on to just deal with that. May as well also do this just in case. This is safety in case I need to come back for the Yoshi kids. I'm actually super hyped that I got the, uh, the Ultra Boots. Because Ultra Boots are not required for my current logic, like my current chapters. It also makes me think there's probably an item I'm going to need in the, uh, in one of the two Ultra Boot checks. In, uh, there's the Winding Path, um, Life Shroom, and then the, just outside of it, there's a, uh, do I have any room in my items? I don't, okay. All right, there we go. Love to see it. Uh, I would take that, but I just don't have any room in my inventory, so. Coconut. Uh, I don't even think that's going to work. Eh. I'll be fine. 
might not be fine. Yeah, so I already have every, I already have every, um, that'll level up. It is not, it's kind of unfortunate. I already have every ruins key. I just need one stone and I need one. Uh, I actually, I need two stones. I, say. I need the, the diamond, the diamond stone and I need the uh, pull stone. I am going to go into Volcano. I wouldn't normally, just because I can't finish it, but... Just having found the ra the Jade Raven like that, but not having found anything else for logic, makes me think I might be expected to be going in there. Also, having Lackey means it doesn't lose that much time. I just heal now because I don't know when else I'll be able to get a chance to do it. Also, like, if I find Ultra in here, that's obviously, like, ideal. I don't have a reason to upgrade any more of my partners either, so that's cool. We have over here, it's a dry room. And here we have a fortress key. There it is. See? See? Absolutely worth coming in here. So one is done now. Oh, please, please show me Ultra Hammer down here too. That'd be really hype. I don't know what this is actually going to be, but it's not going to be Ultra Hammer. It's a mystery. I don't want that. YouTuber Gamer. That's me. I'm YouTuber Gamer. Ooh. Hold on. Thing that I've forgotten multiple times that always fucks me up if I forget it. Please don't be Ultra Hammer. Okay, good. I'd have been real upset if that was Ultra Hammer. All right, let's go into one. Not having Bombette is very weird. Because it means there's a bunch of checks I can't do in one. I have enough items, though. I should be able to just do Pit Fight as well. Man, this is a weird seed. No bombette, no watt. Like. Bombet in particular gates off a lot of checks, so coconut is still there. Don't need it. Don't need it. Would like it, but don't need it. Okay. I did that on purpose, actually. Just to show off how easy it is to do. Okay, I don't know why that one didn't work. They patched it? Bro, I can't believe they patched this trick. Why would you do that?
What is the purpose of, of patching that tree? Still a good experience in here too. So that's a level. Okay, Quake Hammer's still on, so that's fine. Okay, I've been hit. Oof. This one has to be an air raid. Did I pick up a... I didn't pick it up. Shit. Okay. Well. I was wondering if I'd picked up a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pow block. Luckily, this one I should be able to quake hammer. I was wrong. Yo. Randomizers are what's up. The seed's kind of mid, though. Like, the logic has been whack. Like, where I had to go and then go back to. But. It's been very nice in terms of badges. This is going to be nothing, right? Yep. That was never going to be anything. I don't know why I even came down here to check. The problem is I kind of have to full clear this thing. Because I, I I'm gated off by not having bombette. There's so few checks I can do that I kind of have to go and waste my time and do this check. Oh, now that I think about it, it would have been so much smarter. It would have been so much smarter to come here and do this first. Because it just lets out by the pit fight anyway. I'm wasting time. Let's go. Okay, never mind. I really needed to do this check. It was actually quite important that I do that. Was gonna skip it. Uh, glad I didn't. Okay, so I'm Ultra Hammer and Pull Stone away from Go Mode. Literally two items. And the thing is, like, I don't have any other checks, so it's got to be Rouse Shop after this. Uh, not gonna bother hitting that, cause... Not coming back here. We're done with this chapter. My actual worst fear is that I find Bombette up here. Cause at this point I'm kinda rooting for not finding her. Not finding her means there's a lot of stuff I don't have to check. I will take that. Okay, badges. Uh, you know, I think I just put on the FP plus. 
This is the first game you ever played? Kind of hype to be... What? Okay, that was weird. Uh, this is definitely sub-2 possible, though, if everything goes right. I'm trying to think. Are there any any checks I actually have skipped that I could be doing? And I don't think there is. I'm going to have to eat a hit from the Koopa Bros. Can't do anything about that. I guess there's still the Ultra Boot items checks that I haven't done. But those are really fast, even if I don't find anything in Ralph's shop. Uh... I am using uh, RetroArch through Parallel Launcher, and I'm going to be honest, like, it's the best emulator to actually run the game there's like no lag or anything like that but it's the worst emulator to deal with when trying to set up your controller all right gonna eat this hit it'll probably do like six eight holy shit that was way more than i expected i am so used to having vomit here won't actually kill, but it keeps them on the ground. Okay, so luckily chapter 5 is really fast to complete, as is chapter 2. So if I get either of those chapters, like, it's actually not bad at all. I mean, technically, I can just finish Chapter 2 right now anyway. You only need the Ultra Boots to get in, but uh, I'm trying to follow the rule, the race rules. Still, I'd like to finish either chapter in the next five minutes. Like, I'd like to be heading to Bowser at 1.30. Playing game with a dual sense. I play with a Switch controller. The Switch controller is like an Xbox 360 controller, but with, like, good face buttons, so. You will not be seeing Chapter 7, sorry. I kind of wish I had gotten Chapter 7, though. Okay, so we're gonna go... Check Ralph... If he doesn't have Pulse Stone or Ultra Hammer, we're going to go check the two remaining items I can get. So I think about getting the USB N64 controller, kinda, honestly. Pulse Stone, let's go. I'm really just not going to find Bombette. That's hilarious. This one is higher scaled, but I should be fine. Uh, I'm not technically speedrunning since this is a randomizer. There's no actual, like, speedrun category for it. But I am trying to get, like, a... I'm trying to get a sub-two-hour time. Like, that's the goal for each randomizer that I do. I got my first sub-two just two days ago. It was a 148, actually. But mostly I just keep the timer on to, you know, see how long it's taken me. Uh, 
That was after the eclipse for me. Okay, just throwing that out there. I've got a mega jump, which I don't really want. So again, at this point, I'm actually just rooting not to find Bomet. <laughs> if I don't find Bomet, it means the items I need aren't... Actually, let's grab that, because I'm going to need to do a fight in another room. There's Ultra Hammer. Okay, so I'm in go mode now. I'm just done. And luckily, five in particular is very fast to finish. So assuming I don't play the end game poorly, this should be a sub two. Hello? Why can I knock it out? Like, I don't need to do any more checks. I can just go. I don't even need to buy items. I have so many... Repel gels currently. I got into a fight. Let's go. Okay. I want the level up on Toot and Koopa more than I want this. Why is my run... It's because of the fucking Stone Chomp. Stone Chomp affects run so much. Uh, pyramid. Star. Moon. And then badges we're going to put on. Take off that. Uh, power bounce. You know what? I can... Actually, hold on. I can probably stand to put on the power plus right now. So we're at five base damage. Okay, he's going to have, I think... Uh, wait, was this six scale? No, this was five scale, right? Um, actually, hold on. Okay, I think he's gonna have 45 HP. I think. 50 HP, okay. Uh, four cap is not what you want to see, but whatever. And then I am going to kill Chomp here, because if I don't, I might die. Okay, we like to see that, actually. God, another four cap? It's fine, he's dead. I gotta get that Dalage Master on at some point. Uh, this game is better than TTYD in certain respects, but not in every. Um, I think we just BP again, honestly. My next level will probably be HP. Okay, well, I got my wish. I wanted another chapter done within five minutes, and here we are. Um, I feel like the world of, TTY of TTYD is less interesting than the world of uh, 64. Like, Paper Mario 64, it's... The areas are much bigger and more interesting to explore. Like, Mount Rugged... Um, it's, like, multi-leveled and, like, very interesting. Like, everything in TTYD feels like Pleasant Path in this game, where it's just a straight path from one end to the other, and it's far less interesting. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even have to do the Colorado tree check because I'm just done. Let's go. Bring out sushi. I will check the shop here just real quick to see if there's anything worth grabbing, but I, I feel like there's... Yeah. There's really not. I kind of have everything I'm going to want to have. Well, this is, uh, this is nice. It makes up for how shitty the, uh, TTYD64 run went. Switch to Lackey. Guess it's the emulator's way to make it up to you. I mean, it's not really the emulator's fault. I, it was all me that fucked up the uh, card skip, so. It's faster to take the platform. I don't know why I didn't do that. Admittedly, it's only like five or so seconds faster, but still, it is faster. And then we switch to Paracarry here. I will not take the slander of my Goomba wife from TTYD. Okay, badges. Uh, power bounce. Dodge master. Take that off. Flower saver. I guess I will put on power rush just in case it comes up, but I don't think it will. And then... Sushi. Actually, I don't even think I lead with Sushi. I think I lead with Paracarry. Because I have the uh, Snowman doll, I may not even actually need to use Sushi. So. I do kind of wish I still had another attacking item, though, outside of just the Snowman doll. I don't, right? No, I don't. This is an easy star storm. I think I was supposed to actually let that hit me. I could have gotten into danger, now I can't. I do not have all partners. Uh, that is an option in the randomizer to have all partners, um, like to have partners usable even when you don't have them. But I have to find partners in order to be able to use them and I don't have every partner. I don't have Watt and I don't have Bombette. Okay, I do think I need to switch to sushi. But I will do that next turn. Because I'm pretty sure this is only going to be a one turn. Oh no, I got two, okay.
Okay, so it should just be switch to sushi and use squirt, and I'm done. I don't even have to use Tidal Wave. Alright, cool. Not having to use Tidal Wave is nice, because Tidal Wave does lag the game quite a bit. Uh, okay, so I'm going to level up on the... Unless they're one scale... I'm either going to level up on Junior or I'm going to level up on, um, I'm either level up on Junior or I'm going to level up on Hallway Ghosts, the Dupla Ghost fight. But because I haven't seen one or two scale, it's very possible I won't level up. I also haven't seen seven scale, which is kind of worrying because it could just mean they are seven scaled. And if they're seven scale, not only am I gonna level up, I'm gonna level up on junior as well, which means if I do danger strats, I won't be able to bring him into uh Bowser. I guess I just do Do I do last stand strats and do jump charge? Because I can go get super jump charge in town. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't need to buy any items, I have more than enough repel gels. All right, let's grab Mega Jump Charge. Or Super Jump Charge, I'm sorry. No. And then I almost wonder if I just do regular D-down strats for Final Bowser. It might not be a bad idea, actually. Because I can get into danger and use all or nothing. So I'm in... I'm doing 12 per turn with just Mario. And he's not going to heal... So it's 12 with Mario plus 5 with... So 17 a turn. Might not be a bad idea, actually. Which... I can never tell which layer you're on, so... Okay, I guess we're fighting. I could just take the level here, but I don't think I want to. Also, it's weird that the, uh, the lava bubbles are never scaled. Or the embers, I'm sorry. These aren't lava bubbles. I will check the shop real quick. I don't think there's going to be anything they could even possibly have I'd want, but... They have slow go. Oh, they have damage dodge, actually. Might be worth grabbing. I'm going to Mega Quake and Paracarry in this fight because I, I don't want to have to use my star power. I'm going to hope they're one or two scaled though. That'd be real nice. This is definitely seven scaled. I could already tell when there was four of them. 
Oh well, that is a free level up at least. Okay, I'll take an HP level up on Hallway Bowser, but... Oh no, I'm gonna take an HP level up on Junior Troopa, I guess. Okay, that's the last BP for sure. That is not a bad item to get, actually. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, okay, so badges are gonna be... Oh, fuck, that's... Okay, you know what? I guess we're doing a regular jump charge. Uh, do I just do Mega Rush? I can get into Peril, I think. Yeah, I think we just do Mega Rush, because I'm pretty sure I can get into Peril. I'm gonna keep it at 15, actually. Put D down on just in case. As a backup. Okay, and then we're gonna take a save. I, I have enough time to play with that I can take a save here in case things go south. So he's eight regularly. So I need to chill out block two and then not block the other. There's one block. Oh no, I need to not block anything now. What am I thinking? Charge. I was not supposed to block that. I'm going to restart. It'll be faster to restart. I just, like, on reflex blocked. Oh, this will also give me a chance to check something. Out of sight is four. I need to remember that. Okay. That only lost like a minute and a half. It's fine. Not a big deal. I'm just like so reflexive to block everything. Uh, no, not like that. Chill out. That's fine. It's not really that big of a time loss. This should still be like a 150. Block that. We're not blocking anything else. Go for it. Okay, that's fine. I guess I could have just kept Paracarry out. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, that's fine. He's still dead. I... Oh no, he's definitely going to spam heal because I'm prob- Well, no, he might not. I'm, I might be able to avoid it. Um, I'm very confused though because I don't know why he went into that- Ooh. Oh, do I take the HP now? I do though. I want the HP. I am going to level up on Hallway Bowser anyway. But I'm, oh no, I'm not. I'm not going to level up on Hallway Bowser. Okay, badge changes is going to be Mega Rush off, Power Rush on, I think. I forgot I had last, uh, I had all or nothing on, to be honest. Um, where is, oh, damn it, Josh is on four? That's annoying. Um... I 
I guess it's just gotta be that. Uh, you know what? Let's see if this is anything useful. It's not. Actually, it kind of is. I might need to heal after the, the hallway Bowser fight. Depends on how much HP I have left. No quick change is kind of rough, too. I'm also going to do one quick item check. In the off chance that was like an FP or an HP plus, I would have liked it. Okay, I think I open with... I, on I only D down if I get into danger, I think. I guess that was exactly the same as if I had used D down, actually. I'm just going to let him poison me. The extra damage is better for me. It means he's less likely to heal. Okay, so this is going to be a... Shield turn. He might heal next turn. He's at... He'll be at uh, sub-50. So there's a chance he heals. What's up, Ginger? You're here for the end of the stream. Okay, he doesn't heal. I would have actually preferred to not block that because it would have put me in danger, but... Uh... Okay, he's gonna heal this turn. Guaranteed. Oh, he didn't. Nice. And I got dangered? Let's go. Not that it helps right here, but I got it. If I had had the coconut, that could have been a coconut kill. You're right. Unfort. Okay, so we eat this to go back up to 12. So now if he opens with fire, I can get into danger at least. I'm not going to be able to use peril strats, but I'd like to get into danger. I want to see fire both phases. actually, to really make sure I stay at... No, do I just... I think we do that. Okay, so... Last Stand's gonna be kind of useless, so I'm going to put on Mega Rush just in the chances that I get to... <laughs> no matter what, I'm gonna win this fight. I just have enough items that I can't possibly lose. It's just, if I can do it in under 15 minutes, basically, which I should be able to do, no matter what, but. Okay, we want to see fire. Fire is the move we want to see. If he claws, that's okay as well, because I can, I can take it and get into danger still. I think we just open with D down. Alright, show me fire. That's not fire. Is that claw? It is claw. Okay. Uh, I still think D down is the better option here. Power bounce is really only for if I manage to get into um, peril. Which, the only way I'm going to get into peril is if he do if he opens with Fire Breath um, on the start of Phase 2, and then also Fire Breaths after that. Like, turn on the second turn. That's the only way I can get into peril. 
And even then, I'm still probably just using D-down strats. Actually, am I? I'm going to put me at three, four, five, six. Yeah, I still probably am. Although I do have Dodge Master, so, you know. Okay, show me Fire Breath to open. I just noticed Twink was purple. I don't know why, I thought Twink wasn't affected by the uh, Star Kid color changes. Okay, that's not Fire Breath. And I do have to block it. Uh... Okay, again, Fire Breath would be preferable here, but... I think I can survive anything. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm in danger. Now we use a Repel Gel. And he might shield here? No, he doesn't. Okay, that's great. So he's going to shield this turn. Which means I actually have to repel again. And then we do nothing, and then he fire breaths. We peach beam. No, I'm not going to beat the previous record. Previous best at 148 is not going to be beaten on this. I knew that when I got, like, when I started ba the, the gauntlet back here. I was at, like, I was starting the... <laughs> I was, like, starting the, the boss rush it at, like, sub-130. There was just no way. Okay, cool. And then I think... Okay, cool. So this is... He's gonna kill me here. Does not matter. I'm going to just miss a sub-150, which is kind of sad. Oh no, maybe I'll get it. I don't know how long this takes. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Sub-150, let's go. Woo! Love to see it. Oh, that was great! Yo, just barely still counts. Another one. Okay, I'm getting more consistent at this. That's that's at least very nice. Like, getting my time down consistently is what I wanted to see. And, you know, going from that week straight of two, just barely above two hours to getting two in a row sub-150 is really nice. Oh, fuck me. I'm hungry now. I still have not had lunch. Or breakfast, I guess, technically, either. Um, I'm going to let the uh, credits play out. And uh, I'm going to go throw something in the oven, the toaster oven, just real quick. And then I'll come back.
lunch at 2 p.m. is fine, right? Like, that's not a... <laughs> I'm not completely... I'm not completely, uh... Completely starving or anything like that. I had in a... I take daily insures, you know, like the, the meal in a bottle. Uh, mostly as a holdover from when I still wasn't eating particularly well at the beginning of getting my feeding tube out. Um, but also just to get, like, good early nutrition. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad this went really well. Like I was I was getting upset about the TTYD64 stuff. Dude, I love when autocorrect decides that a word, like, a correctly spelled word should in fact be a different word instead. My phone, my phone loves that with two-letter words, by the way. I'll type O-N, like, I'm, like, what's going on? And my phone will be like, you actually meant to say in. What's going in? I was like, no, that's not what I wanted. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, it's the fat guy I never saw, as well as the Yoshi kids I never saved. Crystal King, didn't see you either. I do like that color, though. I love this color of Crystal King. See, the problem is, though, like, Ginger, you can, like, you can put EQ into your your phone's, like, dictionary, right? So it won't autocorrect off of it. Uh, but, like, I don't know how to fix my phone deciding I want to say a different word than the word I'm currently typing in. Like... The star spirit I didn't rescue. The the bumpities I never saw. Cards Against Humanity game on Discord. I don't know, maybe. I've played Cards Against Humanity on Discord a couple different times with a few other chan like in a few other channels. I feel like Cards Against Humanity though is definitely a game that's way better when you're in person. I haven't played Cards Against Humanity in a while either. I've played a bunch of other random, like, 
similar, not similar, but like a bunch of other card games uh, with one of my friends that I, I played Magic the Gathering with who he moved away uh, last year. So we haven't, we've only played a couple times since then when he came to visit. Um, he was a big like board game and card game guy. So he brought a bunch of stuff over a few times. I played Exploding Kittens. Unstable Unicorns? That sounds like Exploding Kittens, just like... Oh, slightly different. Oh, I'm actually not coming to the East Coast this summer. Uh, I was... So, I'm more than likely going next year instead. Um, I was gonna go... So, the plan was I was gonna go with my girlfriend when she goes to visit her family this year in New York. Um, like, in around June, right? But what was originally just gonna be us going over there to visit her mom and her grandma and, like, her sister... Um, it's now turning into, like, her aunts and uncles from out of state are also coming in, and they're going to take a trip down the coast and stay at, like, an Airbnb for a week down in, like, D.C., and then go further down to, like, I like throughout the other tri-state area. I'm like, you know, I think I'm okay with not being a part of that. Um, She's going to, like, they're going to be gone for, like, two weeks. I'm just like, I, I don't want to spend two weeks on the East Coast. I'm sorry. So... There's also the chance that we just go later this year in, like, October or something. Um, but at the very least, for this summer, I'm not going to the East Coast. Also, all of the decks I own are, like, 80% my roommate's cards. So I'm not sure he's going to want me to take him across the country. Not that that would stop me, but... All right, that's going to be it for the stream. Uh, my food should be done in about 10-ish minutes. Ginger, you want to play Magic in the Discord later? Like, when I'm done eating? Since you're you're already out. JJo's online. I don't know if anyone else is going to be able to play, but JJo's online. All right, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Peace!